Hello everyone and welcome to Nagash Architecture and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to create a staircase. This is a modern building that I designed recently but there is no staircase in this building. If you go over to the other end of the building like the interior you can see from this point in here that it's just a flat floor there's no staircase. So I'm currently working with Autodesk Revit 2025 and in order for me to create a staircase, the first thing you want to do is to actually create an opening for that staircase. Some people decide to create the opening last, but I prefer to create it first. So we are currently on the ground floor and in order for us to create the opening on the floor, we need to go to the second floor. So I'm going to go over to level two and then just hover my, just hover my mouse over to the nearest wall here and then press the tab key on the keyboard and select the floor so if you go ahead and press the tab key once you're near here you can choose to either select the single wall or the connection of walls but we just press tab until i see the floor go ahead and select the floor and then when you see edit boundary this is the method i'm going to use to go and go ahead and click edit boundary and then on the floor boundary here we can see where the floor actually laps into the wall so i want to create another opening just outside using the second rectangle here so i'm going to just select this and then first of all click the rectangle go to the corner select this and then go over it i need my staircase to be about 1100 millimeters that's 1.1 meters so 1.2 is actually going to be enough so i'm going to modify the opening again once i'm done creating the staircase so go ahead and just select 1.2 and let me see the distance from here 2.7 let's go for 2.5 by 1.2 select that first as that as the like first opening for us i'm going to go ahead and create another rectangle here i'm going to cut them very soon so this is going to be about 1.1 as well i'm going to edit that let's make this two point two point five as well or let's say two meters at this point and then the distance between this and this is a thousand two hundred we're going to type that in and then go ahead and select all this rectangle here and move it to the corner so we can have it where we want it to be there we go the lines overlap but that's not a problem we're going to obviously edit the lines so go ahead and use trim and extend pick this at the lines that we want to keep these are the two lines that we want to keep. We're going to remove all the, all the other parts. Just use the two lines that you want to keep. I can go ahead and delete this one, of course. And just to make sure everything is in order, we can... Yeah, it looks like everything is in order. So if it isn't in order, we will know when we go ahead and just click accept so we go ahead and select accept and do you want to attach the walls no i'm not ready to do that right now floors and roof overlaps are highlighted would you like to cut the geometry yes so go ahead and hit cut geometry and then if you go to our 3d you can see that we now have our opening so now that we have our opening in level one we can i'm um, in level two sorry you can go over to level one and start creating the staircase so go over to level one you can see the stair in here just go ahead and click staircase from the architecture tab and then when you're in the staircase menu you can see there's run landing and support these are all three items that you know make up the staircase so first you want to create the run and then you're going to create the landing after that and then assign the supports to the staircase so i want my staircase to run straight like this and then go towards the left so you can see my line from the opening that is created before i can just go ahead and click that and then go all the way up i'm going to use like 10 risers first of all and just go with that once they have gotten to my tent riser i can go ahead and click accept you can see how close that is to this wall so i'm still going to have to move the staircase anyway so i can go ahead and select this and move it a bit downward just to create space for my other for my landing and then the other run so let's create our second run we're going to expect it to run from the center like this towards the left hand side so it shows that we have only seven so i'm going to have to edit the thread so that i can have more stairs on the upside than i have on the downside so this should be enough having eight and nine here so that's fine 
you can notice that Revit automatically creates the landing for you because you selected two runs and between two runs there is a landing so I'm just going to go ahead and select the entire all the staircase element first the landing and then the two stairs that were created and I'm going to move them to the corner where we have our where we have our opening so there we go at the edge just have it in here lock the staircase in there so there is our stair now you can go a bit back to the modify stair create menu and then go ahead first of all the last thing i want to mention is you need to actually choose the residential stairs so currently we check the properties the stair is set to assemble stair steel metal plates but this is the residential building and this stair is not a residential staircase select the assemble stair here and choose the residential staircase i'm going to go with the 190 max riser 250 mm going this looks like a residential staircase compared to the previous one because it's not steel to be honest anything but steel right now so once that's done go ahead and click accept finish mode and then the railing is not continuous now the reason why reddit is or revit is showing us this is because there are two railings and it's not actually lapping to the end of the building so you have to go ahead and delete the second railing so the best way to get a view of this staircase is to actually cut a section through it. So we're going to use the section view here and then go ahead and draw a section across the staircase in Revit and then just put that in there. And then we can look for the section view, I think for Revit 2025, that's the building sections. Go ahead and select section two and then we can see the building. You can see the staircase now as it's lapping from one floor to the other. But notice that there is a railing just near the wall, this one it's not supposed to be here so we're just going to go ahead and delete that railing and then we can have our staircase the way it's supposed to be now the last thing we want to do is to put a railing that protects the opening so someone doesn't just fall off the building if you look at the building here there's no protection at this end so we need to create a railing here to actually protect people that are walking on the staircase so that we need to go to level two again now this part of the staircase will not need a protection because this is the ending part of the staircase where somebody's coming up from or going down towards the lower floor. The railing protection is going to come all the way from here and go this way and then this way. Let me just show it to you how it works. Let's go ahead and select railing. We're going to choose line and I'm going to pick the end of the wall from here. Just click select and then cross it over like this. Let's say 1003 sounds fine scroll all the way up again we're not using container so i have to click again and then move up 1800 that's getting too far 1800 and then go again 1800 click that in there so that's our railing protection we can use a glass bottom panel for this one and then go ahead and select accept so that's our backup railing and then we can see let me use a level 2 camera so you can go ahead and see what it actually looks like so go ahead and select the 3d view there's a side arrow beside it here go ahead and click camera and then insert the camera into the building and then you can see what the staircase actually looks like so here we are you can see the railing and the staircase so there's the protection that we just created and then the staircase there's a railing that goes all the way down and now you can see the staircase here how it connects you can see that part of it is actually coming through the floor so these are just basic editing that you need to do in revit i can go ahead and create another section on level two or i could rotate this section create a rotation here so i can use this section to actually view the staircase from where i want to be 90 degree let's go ahead this way and then align the section to be here go back to section two it should show me what my staircase normally looks like so you can see that the staircase is actually coming out of the floor and that's not what i'm looking for so i can change the number of desired risers to 15. go ahead and hit apply If your staircase is sticking out of the floor like this, all you can do is to change the base offset. The current staircase has a 190mm riser. You can go ahead and just drop that down by 190. Currently mine looks okay as it is, but this is just down to the editing process in Revit. It's not really a golden rule. When you go ahead to create a 
staircase it may not always be perfect so you have to go ahead and do some tweaks to make sure that the staircase actually laps with the floor as it is and that's basically how you can go about creating your staircase and how you can view it in section view to see how the staircase is aligned in your building so for more Revit tutorials like this Revit 2025 tutorials remember to subscribe to the channel and do let me know in the comment section if you have other issues with Revit and I can go ahead and make those videos to help you out see you in the next video